One Circuit Mailbag, coming to you live from downtown Tasmania. One Circuit. It's content, Jim, but not as we know it. That chunky monkey, suitably charred, still warm. And interesting colour packaging. Inside, hopefully not burnt, is no packaging. The bubble wrap, business card, Lily Go, oh, and right. Oh, <laughs> pile of stuff. This is your, this is your doing. Uh, if you haven't seen it already, then I will direct you to a video from Pile of Stuff where he came across this amazing device and was able to load up some old software, I think even something like Windows 3.1, old DOS, old games, uh, demos, you name it. Uh, and with the, um, the VGA output and with input from uh, mouse and keyboard, uh, it's basically running as a, a very small, uh, computer and it is amazing. I mean, it is amazing what we used to do uh, on the uh, on the size of the processes that we had um, You know going back to my old Amiga 500 days and what was possible and uh, it is a bit of fun Going back into the uh, the retro tunnel and having a look around but um, I'll play with this separately but um, I really would recommend uh, the work that a pile of stuff has done with this little one and uh, you know for the price what a hoot good job this isn't a sponsored video uh, I paid for these because you know why not um, it comes about because PCB way has a, a Twitter account called PCB way official and they often tweet about interesting projects that people are doing around the traps and I like this one. This one seems fine. So this is a shield that you pop on top of uh, an Arduino. And you put a zip, uh, one of those lock, zip locking things um, on the top. And, uh, and then you can program three A-Tiny-85s or indeed uh, A-Tiny-13s, I think. Now, do I have that? zip thing handy I don't think I do because I mean that only just came in a recent mailbag anyway but I will assemble these in a future video I'll assemble this and pop it on top of an Arduino and then you can program three chips at once pretty cool idea thanks PCB way solid individual which reveals Ooh. Germany. Hmm. Um, the only thing I can think of that this might be is earbuds. Because all the cool kids have got earbuds. And I don't. And I have resisted for such a long time. Yeah, look at those things. They're the little pads that you have on. And I've resisted because... Mm, I don't know, the cost, I suppose, and I just didn't see the advantage. But lately, uh, I've been having difficulties making phone calls in the car through the Bluetooth, and I thought this might be a way of uh, getting around that. So, whoa. Which way does it open? It's a bit difficult to see which way it opens. Is that a hinge? Hmm. Oh, hello. We have a light. That's a bit unexpected. What did I push? Maybe that guy. Ah, here we go. That is open. Well, that's strange. And uh, supposedly, when you plug it in, it uh, also tells you the... It's supposed to have a display, which I can't see it does. Oh, there, there's a display that says 99. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, I'll plug it in anyway and see what happens. 
So I'm reading instructions here and it says please charge the charging compartment before using the headset for the first time or for a long time. So I'm presuming that's what the 99 is, but it also says there's little tabs on here. So um, yeah, so you need to remove those before you charge the actual earpieces themselves. So that's one removed. And there's the other one. Uh, ooh, tricky little things. There we go. Both removed. And so you should be able to just plug that in. Oh, I see. Yeah, look at that. And now we're charging. And this guy in. And it's both charging. Nice. What else do we say? Um, put it back in. Blah, blah, blah. Take out the earphone after fully charged. The earphone will be automatically turned on and paired. Well, assuming I've paired it, which I haven't paired it at this stage, but I will do that. And what else does it say? The main earphone is the left and the second earphone is the right. Oh, it's single earbud mode. Okay, so I guess that would be handy for just making phone calls. Um, I'm not sure where the... Um, I'm just not sure where the microphone is, presumably that's part of it as well. Um, but... It's interesting that I guess you're supposed to be able to see through there. It's certainly very hard. I, I assumed that all of these uh, little indicators were on the top lid as per the advertisement, but apparently not. So I'll leave that to charge for a while and, uh, and then we might um, pair them and see how they sound. And drop and cut. And drop. And cut. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. What? So many transistors, I think. Yeah, let's get these guys out of the packet and see what they are. Pretty sure transistors, um, but I'm not sure what sort. Let's have a look. MPSA05. There's actually four different types of transistors here. I only took out three packets, but there was a fourth one still left in the packet. Um, so I luckily discovered that. But yeah, MPS A05, which we'll check with a tester in a minute. And MPS A06, uh, I'm assuming that that's maybe, at least one of them's a PNP. Uh, not really sure, but the tester will tell us. And MPS a14 and the last one is an MPS A95 and I've got the most of this guy here which is hmm which is it's amazing how they're all upside down when I want to read them <laughs> uh, that's the A14 I've got the most of it looks like a hundred and the rest I've got 50 thereof but let's throw them in the tester and uh, and have a look so we'll just just have to splay the legs a little bit and pop them in and the tester says it is a bjt npn and there are the specs so yeah i think from memory it's like maybe half an amp that these guys can drive but um i will have to check that with the with the specs online. I mean, I still love the SS8050 and the 8, um, is it 8055, the PNP version, uh, which we've seen many times on this channel. But uh, these ones I think were so uh, cheap. Uh oh, that's the wrong hole. Let's try again. <laughs> Says it was a Xena. That's not right. So this is also NPN. Uh, so that first one was the AO5. This one is the AO6. So um, also NPN. And then we've got the A MPS A14. I oh, need to just pull these legs apart a little bit. Pop it in the right one would help. And this one is NPN as well. And then, so I'm guessing that the last one, which is the MPS A92, 
maybe is the PNP. Let's have a look. And the tester says, yeah, PNP. Uh, so hopefully those specs line up with that. So um, 200 transistors, 100, uh, 250 transistors, I think. So these guys all are NPN and 100 PNP. So yeah, nice haul at the price. How do I know where to cut them? I hold them up to the light first. So I reckon that this is safe. Famous last words, but let's just have a look. Oh yeah, that's all good. So there's our package inside. And we have, oh, okay. This is interesting. So uh, a little while back in a mailbag, I, uh, I opened up, it was like a CNC shield. So you put it on top of the Arduino and then you connect the motors up. And there was a comment uh, on that um, on that video that uh, that said, "Oh, you should try these guys. They're um, they're quieter." So um, this will become part of the. Uh, it, well, it won't, it won't end up being a CNC machine, but I just wanted to control the four motors uh, independently. I'm not sure exactly why. I've sort of got mm, maybe some robotic stuff in mind, but I'm not really sure at this stage. Uh, but these are supposed to be ultra quiet versions of them. So we'll open one up and have a, a closer look at it. So I'm looking at, I think, TMC2209. And then we've got 2138, which presumably is the 38th week of 2021. Wow, that's pretty recent for the stuff that I buy. And in Germany, it's got listed there, uh, which is pretty cool. And then on the back... Uh, there's a pad there uh, with enough space for this heat sink, so, um, which does fit, which is nice. So, yeah, that's fitting fine on there. So, um, yeah, when the time's right, uh, we'll put all of those together. So, firstly, we'll try it with the so-called, uh, you know, like noisy uh, motor controllers. And then, speaking of noisy, those pumps are going off in the background. So, I might filter that out. Nice. Uh, and uh, yeah, so, and then we'll try it with these uh, so called quieter versions that were recommended to me via the YouTube comments. So, um, YouTube comments, you've got to love them. So, uh, make sure you leave one, even if it's just to say hi. I'd love to get those, uh, those comments. Anyway, we'll, um, yeah, we'll save those for a future video. Corner cut, corner cut. Without cutting me. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, without cutting the package too much. One package, two package. This looks a little bit like an amplifier. Uh, maybe it's uh, maybe a TDA. Yes, I think it is TDA two eight two two amplifier. I would say. Let me just get closer to that chip. Can we see anything? Mm. Yes, I can see TDA two eight. What's well, difficult in there? Two eight two two TDA two eight, and it does say two two. The lighting's terrible. Who's in charge of lighting around here? But I have been uh, fiddling around with the D two eight two two, the um, the cheap equivalent. And speaking of cheap, I'm gonna have to uh, check some of these connections but um yeah this guy here has got uh, a couple of things which is extra some lovely uh, connectors which is always nice are they labeled i think they are let's see if we can see what they are so the labels say um dc minus dc plus otd ground and dng <laughs> ground backwards and out. Wow. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, a little bit of research to be done here on how to connect these guys up. Let me get a little closer. But um, that is the TDA2822. Presumably that is for your uh, volume control. Uh, three decent size can, um, capacitors at 470 microfarad. A couple of smaller electrolytics at at something, hmm, 
bit hard to see. Oh, here we go on this side, maybe. So no, oh, yeah, 10, 10 microfarad these guys, and four seventy these guys. A couple of little um, caps down there, and the rest are some resistors. Pretty simple, and that's the beauty of the TDA uh, two eight two two. Not an awful lot required to uh, to actually get uh, some pretty good noise out of the um, out of the actual chip TDA. There it is. 2822M. Nice one. So yes, in a future video, we'll definitely hook this up and uh, and see what it sounds like. That is the mailbag for the week and uh, we'll catch you next time. See ya.